Hello and welcome everyone to a new video of our series tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to add member hinges to your RFM model. A quick reminder from our structural analysis wiki to which you have access on our website lubal.com and your online services structural analysis wiki. Uh, a member hinge is a hinge that can be arranged at the member start or the member end in order to limit the transmission of internal forces. Let's say you have a frame structure like this and you don't want the moments to be transferred through the entire structure. So you're going to want to add hinges to each of these members on both sides for the ones in the middle and only on this side for the ones on the edge. I'm going to show you different methods to do this. The first one, which is probably the easiest and simplest way to add a hinge to any member in your structure is double clicking on it and changing its properties so that it has a hinge at one of its ends. Uh, now before I do that, I want you guys to look at this red arrow right here and memorize the member orientation because it tells you that this member starts from the left side and ends at the right side. Now when I double click, you're going to notice that for the member start you have this field right here and you have one for the member end as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new hinge for the member start. We're going to define it according to the global coordinate system and we're going to activate these degrees of freedom which uh, just happen to be activated by default because it's the most common type of hinges used in RFM. Uh, we're going to activate the degrees of freedom, the rotation around the Y axis and the rotation around the Z axis. And we're going to go ahead and click on OK which immediately adds this new type of hinge to our list. Now that we added it to the member start, we can simply choose it for the member end. And we validate by clicking on OK. And now you notice these white circles right here that indicate that we now have successfully added a hinge on both sides of our member. Now before I show you the second method, I just want you guys to know that in RFM you can select more than one member. And when you double click and edit this kind of properties, it actually changes the properties for all the members that you've selected. And now you see that we have hinges on both sides of each one of these parallel members. Now the second method is one that I personally like a lot because um, it's very useful when it comes to adding uh, hinges to different members located in, in different uh, spots in your structure. That is inserting the member hinge graphically. We're going to go ahead and click on insert model data member hinge and select assign to members graphically. The first major step of this method is choosing the type of member hinge that you want to assign graphically to your members. We're going to go ahead and choose the same type and hit OK. Now when you do that you realize what RFM basically does with these blue dots right here is divide each and every member of your structure into three parts. Now let's take this member right here as an example. When I hover over this member you're going to notice that the selection suggested by RFM depends on the location of the cursor and which one of these three parts the cursor is actually on. Which basically means I can graphically choose where to assign my hinges. Let's say I want to add single hinges on the right side for these two members and on the left side for the next two and just to try things out on both sides for these last two members and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter to confirm now what you see happen here is we have hinges only on this side for these two members on this side for these two and on both sides for these last two members the other two methods that I'm gonna show you are uh, defining the member hinge through the dialog box before assigning it uh, to any member which makes it appear as a blue line here at the table and then you're going to be able to find it uh, in the list of member hinges when you select a member and the last method would be uh, adding it through the table which basically means you're going to have to uh, change your hinges properties manually until you get the type of hinge you want. 
and then of course you're going to be able to assign it in uh, any way you want you can also assign it graphically let's choose the type number three and as you can see you can always choose that type of hinge for any members in your structure thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you check out our website for more detailed information about member hinges and their different types check out our structure analysis wiki as well where you can find definitions of the most important concepts in civil engineering and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel blue Bus software thanks again for watching see you in the next video